Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Today we're doing something a little bit special. So what you're seeing in the background right now is not is not live commentary. So right now, in the background is what happened after I start stop like recording for the future Gohan video. So right after that battle I decided to continue playing rank. Gotta get back a hundred up BP. So that's what exactly what I did. Remember guys to watch towards the end because the last battle was amazing guys. I cannot even put it in words. The last battle was amazing. You guys have to watch until the last battle. So remember to do that guys. And I will be commentating over <laughs> this video I guess because this honestly th these three battles I did. I don't even know. I don't even remember how many battles I did in this video. Like I I wasn't recording. So when the moment I finished these three battles right and got back to 100 BP. I just used the PlayStation save and saved the last 15 minutes of um, gameplay. So the quality quality may not be as high as my previous video, but you'll have to deal with that for just, just today. Just today. I promise, guys. Just today. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this as well. So, yeah. Let's just get into it. So, starting off at the first battle, I went Metal Cooler. Metal Cooler against Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. Now, if you guys notice... Did you, he, um, his username, what was it again? <laughs> I, have, I have to check for myself. The Digital. He was the guy I fought in the future Gohan video. He was one of the dudes. I'm pretty sure he was the last guy that I fought. And he picked Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku also, if I remember correctly. But, so I have seen Metal Cooler a lot online. So I decided to just jump right into Metal Cooler here. And you can see me right here. I am just like trying my hardest to get my combos onto him. I remember correctly... That if I remember correctly, I knew that this guy autos a lot, so I was trying to spam Mac Darkness Mixer and hoping that he doesn't know how to deal with it, and he didn't at the start. But I'm f I forgot if he remember how to pick it up. But at this point, I still I had like um I forgot what I was thinking about. But I thought if I could just at least at least get him to use up all his stamina, I have a chance of winning. And as you can see, the idiot that I am, I used up all my stamina, so I had no choice but to let him beat my ass. Oh, I did get a grab on him, but uh, what was this? I don't remember. All right, I don't remember using that that early, but I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, I missed. So, at this point, I'm just trying to win. Again, you can see that I'm doing a good job, pretty good job at taking out down the stamina. And I know that Metal Cooler has one special move. That combo right there. That combo. That combo is broken. Cause sometimes if you vanish while in the middle of that combo, you get you will jump right back into that combo. So right now I ran out of stamina. I'm trying to combo him while I still have no stamina so I could take like the most damage out of this like this right here he tried to vanish but I that but you know it glitched out and I still hit him somehow and then it canceled this combo so at this point I'm trying to be annoying as I can I'm trying to spam the combo as much as I can like trying to dodge his vanishes also because I do not know how to deal with that right here if he has if he dashed out I forgot if I didn't I, oh my god I didn't even realize if he dashed out, dashed out or not but if he had did it that there if he had did it there, he would have got caught in the combo again. And at this point, I'm trying to spam this as much as I can. But I feel like I'm doing it wrong because I don't know why. I feel like everyone else has an easier way doing it. So right now, I just, just you know, a random uh, supernova and actually hit. Like, on, what I was thinking there is, uh, if I could pull this off, it could do a lot of damage. But at the same time, it's very risky. But I know that is a pretty fast skill. And if he doesn't act quickly, it would land. And it did land. And that actually won me a lot of his HP back. So right now, I have the a high advantage. I have more stamina. I have more health. I have not more key, but <laughs> enough for me to win. So right now, I'm just trying to beat him. And honestly, I, I was trying to, uh, to find any move I did. I had to use against him. And honestly, I remember I had this, the Rage Saucer. And I remember, if I remember correctly, you couldn't dash out of that. So I tried it. And I was right. You couldn't dash out of it. And it, it worked pretty well. And at this point, right now... I remember, oh shit, he might make a comeback because I'm low on stamina. And I know that Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku is known for making comebacks with his stupid, like, back, backwards back hits. With his, like, kick and st stuff. And I was just thinking, how can I win? And then, like, y you already saw, <laughs> timeout. I didn't even pay attention to that and I realized, timeout, I win. Okay, I beat that guy. Holy shit, I beat Digital. So, I got my 40 points back. And I was very happy. Honestly, I was so excited. I was like, finally, after losing three games in a row, I finally got a game back. So, right after that, I was just like, hype up. And I get, I guess I got out of my tilt. And then, uh, you guys will see from the next three, next two videos. So, I'll, I'll see you guys there. So, right after that battle, I, I was starting to feel confident again. Like, honestly, I just won against Digital. I was having a hard time with him before. 
I am managed to beat him, so I was feeling confident I went with hit. Like I feel pretty confident with hit too, because I know he has a guaranteed like um stamina break in his combo. So if I could use that to my advantage, I could possibly win here. And he went Super Saiyan for Goku, which is ironic, because Goku versus hit, but it's not he didn't win Super Saiyan God, so I'm fine with that. Now, this guy, I I'd never fought a Super Saiyan 4 Goku online before, so I did not know what to expect, and he was doing a pretty good job um burning down my stamina, but he was getting hit with all my back hits. So Right now, I'm tr I'm trying to remember what moves he has. Like I forgot, I never played against Super Saiyan 4 Goku, nor do I have him unlocked yet. So I never played with the guy before. So I don't know what to expect. But I'm doing a pretty good job taking him down himself, and that's what I mean right there. The guaranteed stamina stamina break, and I, and I just actually just broke out my own stamina. And I realized I was trying to do the ultimate on him. I was trying to be like a little bitch and do the ultimate combo. But I failed because I didn't have enough stamina. So right now I'm just spamming that thing, trying to get my stamina back before he comes up to me. And we did clash. We're pretty even right now, and then I pulled that move off. I actually, I, oh, I, oh my god, I can't talk. I actually thought that move was a counter move before, but it looks like it's just always going to hit no matter what happens. So I was doing that, and it actually landed, and he's trying to do the time stand coming, coming, huh? Which is very hard to pull off if you guys don't know. Like, if you guys train on the Goku and the part where he had you to use um, his time stand coming, coming, huh, to beat um, him, uh, Gohan and Goten, that was hard, man. That was honestly hard. It pit got me annoyed of for a while. I, it took me like three shots to do that. But anyways, back to the battle. His combos are looking pretty nice. But I, I, I'm i doing a good job taking down his stamina. So at this point, I'm not that worried. I'm pretty confident. I'm not in my tilt anymore. I feel confident in fighting him. And I was like, maybe I don't need to do these combos. that Like the cheeky combos. So I didn't do my um, stamina break combo. But I, again, just to make sure that I win, I'm still going to try hard. So, you know, honestly, just just saying, I'm not totally bad when I'm not talking and recording at this, like, and playing video games. So... There is a huge difference from when I record and play and when I just play by myself alone. So this is how I mostly play when I'm not recording. So anyways, that that was, a, that was just a little small talk. But anyways, I'm doing pretty pretty good job. I'm not I don't need to use my stamina break combos on him, but I I forgot if I wanted to do it or not because I remember um at some point I did want to do it just for the fancy. Like I could probably finish him off if I actually did do it. So at this point, I forgot how I finish him, but I was feeling confident at this point. I knew I was gonna win, so I just did it, I guess. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's how I end the video. How I end the battle? I'm not sure if he died from this, and he did die from this. So I was, at this point, I'm really confident. I was like, "Holy shit!" Finally, back to 80 BP. And man, you don't understand how how happy I was feeling. I still feel watching it again, and I actually got 50 BP from that. So I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." Um, well, like one more win, and I could get back to 100 BP. And at this point, I was thinking maybe I should just stop and not risk losing BP. But then I was like, you know, what? I'm not gonna be a little bitch. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna get that 100 BP back. So that's exactly what I did, and I'll see you guys in the next battle. So this is the last battle of this video, but I was. Honestly feeling way too confident and I went to pick Gogeta. I do not know how to play Gogeta for my life Like if you tell me to play him to save someone I can't do it So I don't know why I decided to pick Gogeta I guess I was feeling super confident from the last two games. I actually did not perform too well in the beginning. I was Honestly, I, I seen videos of Gogeta. I see people do really good with him I just don't know how to do it because uh, look you could tell by watching the video. I'm not a good Gogeta I do not know when to do the back hits and when to like actually fight I was really scared of Barris to be honest I thought he was actually gonna be a really good Barris, which he actually is and I was really scared of his um His laser ding that breaks your stamina. I, I don't know what's it called right now I'm pretty sure is um God of Destruction's anger and I was really scared of that So as you can see I have no stamina. He's kicking my ass and he just broke my stamina too So I was like, oh no, don't tell me I'm gonna lose here and again I was really scared, honestly. Like, if look at look at that damage, man. I was already uh, like a whole entire health bar away, like behind, and I was really worried that I'm gonna lose. And you, I might actually lose. I, I mean, you guys will have to find out. But I was like thinking, how can I win? Maybe I should try some of these super moves. To like, I'm telling you guys, I do not know how to play Super Gogeta. He's one of the worst characters that I'm. He's one of the characters I'm worse with. I know he's actually a good character because I. No, I mean. His damage output is insane. I seen people play him online really good. So at this point, I did manage to get him down to um no stamina. So I'm trying to beat him here. And honestly, I was just hoping for the best. I was praying right here in my mind. I do have more stamina than him, so I was like, I could win this. But I made a stupid move by using super explosion. To be honest, the evasive move. I felt like if I didn't do it, I could have had a lot more stamina. If I just vanished, I could have done a lot a lot better. But as you can see here, I I do have enough stamina, and he super and he can't super guard me. 
That's what I meant. If I didn't use that three stamina bar to do that, I would still have two left and I could vanish out. And I, like, that's, that's that's exactly what I'm scared of. The God of Destruction Anger. And I just did this for, like, I don't know why. I didn't expect it to hit, but it actually did hit. I was like, oh, shit, that landed. He was not expecting it. He probably thought it wasn't going to hit him. And he did have enough stamina to dodge out of there. At this point, I thought I was going to lose. But, again, he failed his stamina break. I managed to get behind him. I don't have enough stamina back yet to do a vanish. But I'm honestly praying at this point. He did manage to beat me up. I used my last two stamina bar. He's beating me here. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to die. And he stamina break me. At this point, I already gave up. I, I put my controller down. I was like, oh no. And I was like, wait, wait, wait. I'm back up. I'm back up. So I moved to the left. I actually managed to dodge that battle. I mean, that the orb. And I was like, oh shit, my stamina's coming up back quick. And I was like, oh, I managed to dodge out of that. I was spamming my X button. If you guys could hear my controller, it was like, honestly, man, <laughs> I don't know how to make the sound, but it was hard. I spammed it hard. I was like, oh shit, I broke his stamina. And at this point, I was like, if I can't finish this combo right now, I'm going to die. So I was like, you know what? Boom, super combo coming up. And I actually killed him. Honestly, I was so excited. I was like, holy shit, I'm never probably going to go cheat again. That was way too risky. Honestly, if I didn't do that, if I, my stamina didn't come back in time, I would have definitely lost. And honestly, the battle would have been done for. Honestly, that's how it got back up to 100 something BP. And that's pretty much the video, because I was like, oh shit, I just won three battles. You know what, these three battles are really good, so I decided to, like, um, save the last 15 minutes. And at this point, there is no more videos for me to show you guys. <laughs> but honestly, these three battles are insane. I just had to show you guys this. I'm not sure if you guys enjoy these kind of post-commentary, because I do prefer to do live commentary a lot more, because I don't... Post-commentary, I have to match the audio with the actual battle, and that's actually harder than you guys might think. So there's that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this at least a little bit showed you guys how I got my I went from zero back to a hundred like real quick <laughs> zero to a hundred sorry from the bottom now we're here so hopefully you guys enjoyed that leave a like down below if you def if you did and remember to comment down below who you want me to play in life rank because I will do it so subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully you guys are looking forward to more Xenoverse 2 content in the future and Sword Art Online and Naruto I will be having that in the future so hopefully you guys look forward to that and I'll see you guys next time oh, peace